All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Tuesday evening. We're hitting the music, but it's the wrong music, man. Knicks head to the Cream City for knockout round of the NBA in-season tournament against one of the best offenses in the league. And that was the story for tonight, man, because the Knicks got absolutely steamrolled in this thing, 146 to 122. Uh, it was all good just a half ago. Knicks were treading water through the first half. You know, Julius was cooking. They were getting timely buckets from Jalen Brunson later in the second in the second quarter. Josh Hart chipping in, doing his thing. But in the third quarter and beyond, it was all freak, all threes. It is still raining threes as we speak. Get your umbrellas out because the Milwaukee Bucks shot 60% from downtown and absolutely blew the Knicks out of the water, man. Once again, 146 to 122. I mean, what can I say, Al? You know, all week when I was doing previews for this game, I didn't like this one. I didn't like this one. I never liked this matchup against the Bucks. Uh. I don't think it's a good matchup for us. And I didn't feel like the Knicks were going to bring enough offense to win this thing. Because there was no way that their defense was going to be able to contend with this Bucks team. This is number three offense in the league. One of the best clutch offenses in the league. And tonight, they were even better than advertised. The Knicks got smoked. And I get it. Look, it's a, it's a make or miss league. I mean, look no further than Julius's uh, ridiculous night. He was unbelievable tonight. He was unbelievable. One of my biggest question, my big question mark for tonight came through and delivered, man. And I, the, yep. the only thing I wish was that the rest of the Knicks could have uh, supported him. And 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 supported his offense and defensive play because he was outstanding. But we just couldn't get there, man. I mean, imagine this. Imagine getting outscored in the first loss to this team by 30 from three. And you're saying, whoa, 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 this can't happen again. Not only did it happen, but it was even worse. In this game, they get outscored by 48 points from three. The Milwaukee Bucks shot 60%. From the field, Al. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Not just from the field, CP. From the Not three. From, from the three. Field. From three. And the, and the field and from three, which is insane. 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 So it's like, you know, how do you stop that? You have no chance. Even on the Knicks' best night, they had no chance in this game. They still get blown out in this game. Even <sighs> the Bucks, according to Stat Muse, where Knicks Muse got this, the Milwaukee Bucks had a 21-0 record. On Tuesday, Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, 2021 to 2022. Yeah, yeah. It only gets extended to 22 and 0 now, as the Knicks face the Milwaukee Bucks on a Tuesday. Seeing that wasn't a great omen, you know. This is just as bad as seeing Vinny Testaverde go out there and ushering in Aaron Rodgers at the beginning of this season, then four four plays and you're out. Yeah. But look, man, at the end of the day, you noted it. Three point shooting just. Insane numbers by the Bucks. That you can't replicate that again. Like sixty percent is just tough to do. I'm like, look, I know the Bucks are a good three point shooting team this year. Yeah, they have a good offense, but they really dialed into another level. And you know, you're getting thirty five from Giannis, twenty eight from Willard. You got eighteen from Beasley, who went six for ten from downtown. That yeah. was the that was their X factor. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Middleton had a solid night. They got forty one pe- points from the bench. You know. To the Knicks, 28. And our, and our bench lost. You know, where was our advantages tonight? Nobody came through thing, for Julius. Nobody, man. Yeah. Even Brunson struggled tonight. Brunson, Brunson wasn't, you know, he went 0 for 5 from 3. That's, a, that's one of our best three-point shooters. And he had a rough night. Yeah. So, you have Randall who has, who's on a historic tear, man. But didn't miss a shot in the first half. Right, right, Julius was great tonight, points, man. 9 from 9 from the field. Julius was great. I, you know, that was my big question mark to you, bro. It was like, I said, I said Brunson was going to come through. Is Julius going to join him? I, the stat I gave you was that uh, coming into this game, Julius's last seven games against the Bucks, he shot thirty percent from the field and fifteen percent from three. 
And and remember what I said on weekly, bro. If you look at the first game, his his plan of attack on offense compared to this, night and day. Night and day. The Absolutely. first game he was dancing around on the perimeter, taking his tough shots, but completely out of sync and out of rhythm. In this game, it was a mix. Bully ball, then he'd step out, he'd knock down the mid-range. He'd step out, get the three in rhythm. He was cooking. He was hot. Make or miss league. He was knocking them down, but he was mixing up his arsenal and being very, very aggressive against the Greek freak and Bobby Portis. I mean, as great of a defender as a Greek freak is, Julius can handle him. Okay, obviously we both saw the no defense game. Yeah. Um, Two stars on one team. Well, actually, there's four stars. So let's give Lopez and uh, Middleton some credit as well. Of course. Um, when the team shoots 60% from three, there's nothing you're going to do about it, There's nothing you're going to do, man. Um, yeah, there's nothing you're going to do. But check it out. Starting five, backcourt. What's the difference between the two starters on, uh, on, on, on Milwaukee and the two on the Knicks? 22 points, baby. And that's what we lost by, 22 points. Unfortunately, Grimes is useless as a starter right now. And I hate to say that he's not uh, for him to lose his starting spot, but he is not bringing anything to the table. So the man he's guarding, he's not even playing equal to. Yeah. Um, yes, I, I'm going to give credit to Beasley for all his shots. Mm-hmm. And yes, obviously we know Dame is going to do his thing. Hey, but Brunson and Dame pretty well much matched up straight up, point guard to point guard. Yeah. Well, you can't have a shooting guard being, you know, being trashed by the other shooting guard. Grimes, I need, wasn't even a factor defensively in the game. So, yeah, the uh, the team needs to look at himself yeah. and realize that when you play the big dogs in the games, you're going to have to make a change and and hopefully get a little more offense for somebody else. I, I want to give credit to Julius tonight. He did put a lot of points, and yet he did play some defense. Um, but one thing I realize is off the pick and roll, there's a mm-hmm. lot of times when Dane comes off the pick and roll, he's going to take one stop, one step, and he's going to shoot a three. Mm-hmm. The Knicks need to, to uh, realize that and come up and, and try to uh, contest that. And then what right happens now, when he drives on you? Yeah, but we got you know three other defenders that need to take a charge. You know what I'm saying? Brunson will pick up to take a charge or something. Maybe, we have other different maybe. players to be able to play defense. Maybe. I you mean, defense, you got you got you got, a, you got a fair point. Look, I'm I'm not saying you're wrong, but I don't think it's that simple. I don't think it's that simple as saying you know get on the level in the pick and roll to try to keep Dame from shooting from shooting the three. Then when he puts the ball on the floor and breaks down the down defense, then what? He's either got your center one on one to the rim, or he's got somebody else open on the weak side for a three. Um, I'm depressed, actually. Mm, talk about it. Um, yeah, I'm actually from New York, but I, I went on vacation to Puerto Rico thinking that we were going to win, but, okay. you know. Passport, bro. Happen. Anyways, uh, I don't even know what happened after yeah. halftime because we were down by three. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know what happened, but we deviated from the, the game plan. We were playing well in the first half, passing the ball, playing fast in transition, and the second half. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. On top of that, we have RJ taking boneheaded shots in the first half when he was driving in the rim, mm-hmm. and he got blocked by Brooke Brook. Lopez. Yeah. Um, every time Grimes has the ball, he looks like he's a deer in headlights. He don't know when to shoot. He don't know when to pass. I don't mm-hmm. even know what, what to do with him. Um, Julius Randle, phenomenal game, 40-plus points. You would mm-hmm. expect that to be a W, but, of course, that didn't happen. Um. I'm I'm just shocked. I don't even know what happened. Mm. I just saw open three after open three after open three. I think it was uh, in the first half. I don't remember if it was the second or third quarter, but uh, they moved the ball around, and I mm-hmm. think it was Porter's that took a, a, a shot in the corner, a corner three, and I saw Brunson. He just looked at him. He didn't even run after him. Mm. That's what's concerning about this team. I don't even care about contested threes, and they make it. Good for them. They make contested three. Mm-hmm. It's the open threes. Come on. Yeah. Show some effort at least or something. I can't just watch this because if, wa- if I continue watching this, it's just going to be a bigger problem. Yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, we, need a, we, need a switch with, uh, we need to switch with this backup four situation. Mm. I don't know. 
mm. because it's tough to watch. I mean, Hart, great game. Mm. I thought he had a great game, but we just need some size. We have Obi Toppin's brother on the bench. Mm-hmm. For what reason? I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just angry. You got outgunned. I mean, I mean, how many games does I mean Lillard had 28. He had damn near 30. How many games do him and him and Giannis drop 30 apiece? How many times do you see the Knicks do that? Right. That's dominance. I mean, when you see Giannis just just pulling up from three like it's nothing, and he just hits it. And 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 what actually surprised me is that Mitch didn't even Mitch didn't even go out and, and contest it. He just yeah he just stood there. I was like, wow. Yeah. Great job and all that, man. We had a great week. Tough, man. We, we're not going to make it to Vegas, but hey. I was looking forward to it, man. We bounce back on Friday, man. Vegas or not, the number one show for the fans by the fans is always on and popping, always on and rocking. So to Rhyme Animal, Chuck D, we out of here. Peace.